So you have a Switch, and now you have all the games for it, so I imagine you're feeling pretty solid about your current Nintendo Switch situation. Switchuation? We've talked before on Budget to Best about a whole slew of Nintendo Switch products, but this time, I'm gonna focus on the absolute must-have accessories for your Nintendo Switch. So, let's get to it! If you or someone you know is suffering from Joy-Con drift, the Gully Kit might be right for you. Okay. If you've somehow managed to escape this fate, I am in awe of your luck. Newer versions of Joy-Con seem less prone to the problem, but basically any joystick on any system with similar innards is at risk of the disease. Enter the Gully Kit Hall joystick for Joy-Con. Instead of making physical contact with micro switches, as is the case with traditional joysticks, the Hall Effect joysticks use Sorcerer's Magic to register your inputs. Well, actually it's a magnetic field. On top of that, they use less power than the regular joystick sticks, which is another bonus. The downside here is you have to install them yourself, which requires a few tools you probably don't have and also requires kissing your Joy-Con warranty goodbye. But honestly, it's not that complicated. And when you're done, you have new joysticks and a sense of overwhelming pride at a job well done. Genki has an inexpensive Nintendo Switch dock small enough that you can fit it into the pocket of your jeans. Crazy, right? It's roughly the size of an iPhone charger and it powers your Nintendo Switch via USB-C while also sending an HDMI signal to whatever TV you have it plugged into. And there's nothing stopping you from using it on pretty much anything you want. It doesn't quite have the power needed to power, say, a Steam Deck for on-screen use, but if you want to bring your uh, Sega Genesis Mini 2, well, just pack a USB-C to micro USB cable, and now you're playing Echo Tides of Time on vacation. Plus, you can leave your regular Switch dock at home. In fact, you can use this as a second dock at home too, or a third. It's the ideal gaming platform for long flights or car rides, or if you're taking a steamship across the Atlantic. That being said, as much as I love playing my Switch on those long, boring trips, I find myself missing my Pro Controller quite a lot. Since I personally spend most of my time playing games with the Pro Controller, I have kind of a hard time making the uh, uh, Switch to using the Joy-Con. The Fixture S2 is the solution for anyone who wants to enjoy the handheld experience offered by the Nintendo Switch, but doesn't want to make the trade-off of losing out on the Pro Controller. You see, you simply take the Joy-Con off the Switch itself and slide the console down into the top part. And from there, the Fixture S2 clips right onto your Pro Controller. Boom! You're still using your Switch handheld, but now you get to enjoy it with the benefit of the far superior Pro Controller. On top of being a cool little brace for your Switch, the Fixture S2 has a hard shell case you can fit everything into. Switch, Pro Controller, up to 10 games, and a pocket for storing things like cables and, I don't know, maybe a Genki Covert Mini Dock? Whoa, callback. It's thicker than a usual Switch case, but has the benefit of easily fitting in a Pro Controller. So, for my money, that's a win. One of the most important Switch accessories is one you'll only see once, the micro SD card. The Nintendo Switch comes with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, and the OLED model doubles that to 64 gigabytes. But guess what? That's not enough at all. You don't need a top-of-the-line 4K capable micro SD card for your Switch. In fact, pretty much any micro SD card will serve you well. Although, I personally recommend against getting a no-name brand. SanDisk, Samsung, PNY, and the like are all great choices, and you can get them for super cheap if you only want, say, 32 gigabytes, or you can go absolutely bananas, Donkey Kong style, and get a one terabyte officially licensed Nintendo Switch micro SD card for about 150 bucks. There are cheaper alternatives to the officially licensed ones, and the fact you literally never see it makes any decorative touches not really worth the cost. If you're looking for a really solid bag to carry around your Switch and all of its associated peripherals, 
This sling from JS Aux might be exactly what you're looking for. Before I give you the details, I need to tell you, this is actually designed for the Steam Deck, but it turns out bags designed to haul Valve's handheld Linux machine also make great choices for hauling around your Nintendo Switch. There are plenty of little nooks and pockets inside too, so you can tuck things away all neat and tidy or just go crazy. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I talked about this in our best handhelds video, which you should absolutely check out by the way. The OLED screen on the Switch OLED is amazing. It's so much better than the launch screen and seeing old games on it breathes new life into them. The Switch OLED is $359 new and comes with a new ethernet enabled docking station. And that's basically it. One version is white, so there's that. But look, if you have a Switch right now, you already have a dock and a pair of Joy-Con. So why go out and get a whole new set? You can go on eBay or, you know, whatever auction site you want and find just the OLED screen with no dock or controllers or anything. Save some serious money on an upgrade. Remember, it's not just the screen. The whole dang console is inside of there. I don't know why people are selling just the screens. Maybe they're Joy-Con completionists who just had to have the white pair. But whatever the reason, their weird decision is your game. There you have it. A whole grip of great Nintendo Switch accessories to make your Switch the ultimate portable gaming device. Got any more suggestions? Hit us up in the comments. And if you haven't already, check out our list of the best handhelds right now. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.